Hi everybody, this is video number two for math and you should have your page 320 um, right here and a pencil and I'm looking to see who is texting me. Okay, now on this page, put your name on it. There's clocks on the back, but we're not gonna do that. Um, put your name on it somewhere. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is look at my graph. Okay, and it says average high temperatures of Arkies National Park. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Some park. Okay, average high temperatures at the park. Okay, over here are the temperatures. Okay, and down here, now we're doing months. We're not doing time like on this one. Okay, we're doing months. And then after I look at my graph, I see it goes 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So what, is, what am I counting by on this graph? Fives, fives, can you see my, five, my hand? Five, five. Um, we're doing fives. And we're doing April, May, June, July, August, September. That's six months, okay? So all right, I look at the graph. That's where I said read the line graph. And we read it. Now we're going to go to number two. Answer the questions. Which month has the hottest temperature? So the hottest temperature, obviously, is would be the one way up here because 100 is the hottest temperature on this graph. And there is, if we go here to 100 and go all the way across, there is a dot at 100. Now we're going to go down, down, down. Look at it, it's July. So it says which month. So you would write the month of July. You wouldn't write 100 degrees. That's not what it's asking. It's asking which month. So you write July. B, is the average temperature for August warmer or cooler than 90? So we go to August, we go up here to this dot, and we go across and read it, it says 95. Is 95 cooler or warmer than 90 degrees? Hopefully you would say warmer, because it is. <laughs> so you put warmer right there. All right, number three, I want you guys to try to do this by yourself. Complete the table by writing the temperatures for each month. We'll do the first one together. Okay, April says, let's see, we're going to go to April. April's the first month right there. The dot is at 70 degrees. So right down here in this chart, you're going to write 70 degrees. Then you're going to go to May, find where the dot is, write that temperature. The same for June, July, August, September. Okay, and then number four, you are subtracting temperatures and you will need to borrow, okay, because there are zeros at the top there, okay, and um, you're subtracting 80 from 100 and 90 from 100. You may be able to do that in your head, but if you want to practice your borrowing, go ahead and do that, okay? Um, make sure your name is on this paper, and hopefully you understand line graphs. And um, I will see you on the next video. Bye.